This video shows information disclosure in source code and how attackers can take advantage from it. This is a view of an online subscription website. This is the student email db.cs class. This class contains the insert email info method to make a connection to a database and insert the user's information into a table. The get connection string method is called to make a database connection. The get connection string method takes a call to system.configuration, which references the web.config file. In this file, we can find the connection strings tag, which contains the full database connection string, the data source, initial catalogs, the user ID, and password. This sensitive information is exposed to people with privileged access to the source code. Someone with physical access to the computer can easily access the data. Someone with access to the source code can steal this database connection string and tamper with the database. Now, how do we reverse engineer the information exposure attack? First, we look at the misuse case view of the online subscription website. This view presents extensions and exceptions to the main success scenario, which are potential attack vectors. From this view, we can see what developers intended users to do and what hackers can actually do with the system. When executing the code of the application, a regular user, for example an authorized user, intends only to check the database connection to verify whether the insertion of records works well. However, a hacker has different intention for using the website which is indicated by these red lines. A hacker, who is also an authorized user, could view the web.config file and steal the database connection string. Once the hacker obtains this connection string, he or she can just make a direct connection using the SQL Server Management Studio. Once the connection is made, the hacker can do just about anything with the entire database. The hacker can view, edit, modify, or delete records from this database. Now we explore our process view. This view contains additional information about the flow of control during the interaction and can show specific locations within a sequence of method calls where the system can be exploited. In a case of a regular user accessing the website, program execution starts when an authorized user accesses the application and the code tests the database connection. The program calls registration form.aspx.cs that displays a GUI to the user to take the user input. Once the form is filled in, the application inserts a record using insert email info, which references the database connection string stored in web.config file. This is the exact location where the vulnerability occurs. When a hacker, who is also an authorized user, views the web.config file directly, he or she can steal the credentials. As a result, the hacker can make a connection to the database and tamper with it. 